Show me where the gold is. Where is your gold? Welcome, my name is Chris. This is Prospecting for Adventure. I'm back at my flood gold spot with Jeff and Tiffany. Hi. Tiffany thinks she might have just found a little piece of gold on a rock. Very we, small speck yeah, right there. We will see, it looks like it. We will see. And today I am basically taking the top of the sandbar or gravel bar off again, classifying it in a bucket. And I just got this mat in the mail a couple days ago. This is the dream mat, or uh, multi mat. We've got three different size cells on the mat. We're going to classify a few buckets and throw it in there and see how it performs. a big chunk of wire here looks like old barbed wire but that's always a good indicator around here that if I'm in a pay streak on this gravel bar it's finding these chunks of iron I'm actually gonna throw that in the bucket of classified material to see if the mat catches it all right so I'm gonna do a test pan this is four double hand scoops into the pan just to show you the type of material I'm throwing into the sluice all right there's an example of the gold I'm running so it ranges from micro to small thin flat flake so this should be a really good test for the dream mat and this uh pan is probably below the best layer that we already cleared off so we'll see how it goes i'm really excited to try this mat because in this specific location the gold is super flat and light and likes to sail out of uh your standard Hungarian riffle design. So the way these cells are designed, the gold comes in and corkscrews around and gets trapped in the little cells here. With the uh, traditional designs and some of the current rubber mats, you have a tumbling action. So the gold comes straight through, tumbles down, hopefully gets caught. Instead in the dream mat, it's going in circles all the way down. So it actually makes your mat a lot longer. So we'll see how it works. That's how a man does it. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> see how long the man does it for. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> That's way better than carrying it in my arms. That's for sure. All right, so I have the last bucket in my backpack here. I basically dry sifted down to a quarter inch this whole area through here I took the top off down a quarter inch and now I'm going to run it through my sluice way down there all right it's sluicing time I've got three buckets all quarter minus uh, classified I'm going to wet the buckets down I don't like running dry let's see how this dream mat works Go down the center of the mat. Well, I got stuck right there. These larger <laughs> cells down here, it's, it's not necessarily that... It was weird how he described it. It's still meant to catch certain types of gold that up here it's not going to catch, but just because it's at the end of the box doesn't mean that these two mats suck at catching gold. It's just this one's designed to catch the bigger stuff. All 
All right, so one thing I'm noticing, there are some air bubbles trapped in these little vortexes here. I did clean the mat with uh, dish soap and a brush when I took it out of the box, but I probably need to do it again. I'm sure that these, most of these air bubbles are probably just uh, user air. I can always take a brush before I start feeding it too. But that's something to watch out for in the future. So there is gold in this. You can see a little bit right in there. I'm glad I put this indicator mat up here though because it is catching gold and it really slows down that black sand in the lower strata of material that's coming down the box. And then it created a little trap right here that the black sand's processing through. You can see the black sand lining up there and then a pocket of it in there before it cleans out. I think that's really gonna allow the gold to come into that mat last. And there'll be more room for it to settle. All right, third bucket's down. Looks like top mat's doing its job. There's quite a few little colors showing in here. And that piece of barbed wire stayed in there the whole time throughout all three buckets, so I'm excited. There's a piece of wire right there. Another one hung up on that, but that's because it's the clip. So I'm excited some of the big iron chunks are staying in here. That makes me uh, happy because I know the gold, big gold will stay in there. I'm really happy that all these little pieces of wire are in the box. Where's that big one? There's the big one. And that's because when I ran the drop riffle here last time, all that stuff just shoots right out. That tells me that it's going to catch the bigger stuff as well. And uh, the drop riffle, I'm a little hesitant with that with the chunkier gold so I'm still gonna do more testing on that but I mean that that's pretty cool it's some of the smaller pieces and I don't expect big gold at this location all right that was a pretty good test of the dream mat um, I'm gonna do a quick clean out and I gotta get back into town and pick up the kid from school so show you show you the gold at the end of the video thanks for watching there's a nice little flake right there in the micro mat up top. Alright, so for my clean out, it's not going to be as quick as I thought because I want to sample just the mat and not the uh, inspection mat up there. So I'm going to do that, show you the pan, and then I'll see you at the house. There's that bigger flake and a bunch of small stuff and there's still quite a bit of gold in that inspection mat so I'll take all this home get it cleaned up and show you. Here's a look at the gold that got stuck in the inspection mat that didn't even have a chance to go down to the dream mat. To each of their own you don't have to put one of those in there but I like running it. Here's all the wire bits that dream mat caught which I'm really surprised that the stuff stayed in there because some of the other mats I use, the rubber mats and the drop riffle, all this stuff normally blows out. And I didn't actually end up with an excessive amount of cons either. So to be able to catch this heavier metal and not have a ton of extra cons is pretty surprising and a little exciting. Mm -hmm.